Hi, today I want to show you how to use the recolor artwork command in Adobe Illustrator. I've created a nine circle prototype for a pillow cover design. This image contains 11 colors, the nine colors in the circles, the stroke, and the background. If you have no idea of what colors you want to use to replace the current colors in the image and for a new design and color scheme, you can use Adobe Cooler. Adobe Cooler is an Adobe product of keyworded files sent by users from all over the world. To get started, first let's remove all the colors in the current image that aren't being used. To do that, click the almost invisible menu icon and come down here to select all unused. You can see everything highlights that's not being used and you can drag it to the little trash can icon and the only thing left basically are the black, let's get rid of this color group because it's not very useful. These are the colors that were actually used in the image. The reason these colors are already in your swatches panel is that at some earlier point I had selected the little menu icon and said add used colors. That put them into the swatches panel to begin with. Now let's open Cooler. You do need to be connected to the internet in order to use Cooler. And then it's found on the window extensions Cooler menu comes in as a panel. It will either have the last thing for which you had searched or it's going to come out most often by the highest rated if you've never used Cooler before. You can then begin to look through these and see well maybe I kind of like this one. Okay I can select that go to the little dot to the right of it and choose Add Swatches to Panel. And you can see it takes a couple seconds, but it comes down in here as a new color group. I'm also going to select Heirloom 1 as something to look at. And the pomegranate, whatever it's, pomegranate explosion. We're going to add that to the swatches panel. I've typed the word floral into the search bar on the cooler and then pressed return. And these are some of the choices that have come up. It's a little hard for me to type and talk at the same time because the mic is in front of my keyboard. So let's see what happens if I adopt this color scheme, add to swatches panel, um, maybe this one, the spring floral, add it to the swatches panel, come on. Okay, and let's look at this, floral love. I can also just click at the bottom and get it down there. Now that we have a few new possibilities in the swatches panel, we can close the cooler panel. I need to select all of my objects here select all and now I can use the recolor artwork icon by clicking on it. I'm not actually going to change any colors for real right now. I just want to get an idea of whether I like anything at all that the new palettes that we've downloaded will do for the image. So here we are with Appalachian Spring with Heirloom 1 that's not too bad. Pomegranate Explosion, Floral, Spring Floral, or Floral Love. Now I'm just going to cancel and come out. If you notice, the real problem was that I have only five colors in each one of these possible color palettes, but I have, if I count the stroke on the actual object here, I have 12 colors and it's merged 12 colors into 5. 
the only way to get a color group to use to replace 12 colors with 12 colors is to create it ourselves. So we're going to start that first by duplicating each one of these color groups because that's the only way that we can move colors into another location without losing the originals. So I'm going to start up here, select Appalachian Spring, and choose Duplicate Color Group. So it's down here, and I'm, I can see its colors. OK, fine. I actually want this folder to be the holding folder for all of the colors that we're going to use to try to replace the colors in this image. So having selected this Appalachian Spring copy, I'm going to come up to the menu, choose Color Group Options, and then rename this to Experimental. E -X -P -E -R -A -I -M -E -N -T -A -L. I can't spell and I can't type, so it's a really good combination here. Now that I've duplicated and created and named one set, I can first get rid of holding it selected and now click the heirloom down each one. Holding, I'm holding the shift key as I'm clicking. And now you can see all of my color groups are selected. At this point, I can go back up and select the option to duplicate the color groups. And here they are, every one of them listed where we want them to be. The task now is to add the colors that we want to use in this image to this particular color group, which is our experimental one. So let's say I know I want to use the hot pink in here. I'm just going to drag it up into this copy. It doesn't matter where you drag it into, but notice that it was removed from the set that it was in to begin with when we copied it. What if I want a purple in here? And I sort of like this red though it might be too close to that one. I can drag it over to C and then decide, no, I don't like that, so I'm just going to delete it. Delete the swatch selection, yes. Let's try the dark purple in there. Oh, let's see, maybe the bright green. Can't resist chartreuse in any way or form. And it looks maybe like it could use an orange in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's go for a blue here. That will give me 12 colors. And at this point, I have something that I can try to replace again. Since I've now pulled out of all of these copied color groups, the colors that I think I want and put them in here, I can just select those color groups now and delete them because all they're doing is confusing the issue for us. Now let's see what happens again if I press Command A or Control A to select all and go into replace color to, to recolor artwork. Now you can see I do have my experimental set and if I click on it, I'm going to get a replacement of one for one for each one of those colors. If I like it, I'm done. If I want to continue to play with it, I can. However, at this point, we have refined the colors down to a set that we can use. And that's the end of this particular video, which I hope was helpful to you.